Hello everybody, this is William Hemphill and as you can see I'm actually at a hotel getting ready to do a marriage conference this week, but I'm here to welcome you to the Faith and Family Matters podcast. I want to share a devotional thought for the week. Devotional thought from the week comes from James chapter 1, verses 2 through 4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, when you face trials of many kinds, knowing that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, lacking, not lacking anything. Was thinking about that message, you know, this past week or couple of weeks, even as I was struggling with some things in life and it came to mind and said, consider it joy. In other words, consider it a blessing. Consider it an opportunity. Consider it something to be joyful about. When we face trials of many kinds, notice that it said when, not if, it's when. In other words, it's just a matter of time before we will be tested in some way. We might be tested on our jobs. We might be tested in our businesses. We might be tested in parenting. We might be tested in marriage. We might be tested in our health. But there's going to come some trials or testing because that is a part of life. So James tells us, consider it pure joy when we face trials of many kinds. Because we know this. The testing of our faith produces perseverance. In other words, when those trials come, it is an opportunity to grow in perseverance, in patience, in long-suffering, in the ability to endure situations. And one good thing when I think about when tests come and we develop that ability to, pursue, to produce or gain perseverance, when another struggle comes, we will already have had the strength or the perseverance there. It's almost like going to the gym and working out and building strength. Knowing that the testing of our faith, trials do test our faith. Trials test our faith because they make us wonder, is this really what God said to us? Trials test our faith because they make us wonder, can we endure the obstacles all the way through? Trials test our faith, but it produces in us perseverance. What's interesting about that, though, is verse 4. Let perseverance finish its work so that we may be mature and complete, lacking nothing. So what's interesting then, if we go all the way back to it, the trials actually come to test our faith and see if we can endure and trust God. And as we endure and trust God, they produce, they produce perseverance, patience, long-suffering, the ability to endure inside of us. And when we get that ability, we become mature and we become complete and we will lack nothing. I've often heard people in business say, it's the ability to stick it out through the tough times that allows them to have success. In other words, they count it all joy when the trials come. I've heard people who've been married a long time say the same thing. It's the ability to stick it out through the good times and the bad times. They count it all joy when the trials come. So my encouragement for us this week is if we are facing trials, if you are facing a trial, and if you aren't facing one right now, you'll be facing one soon. Consider it all joy and know that the trial itself has a purpose 
because it's a way of God working inside of us, testing and growing our faith and producing perseverance in us and allowing us to be mature and complete. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this thought blesses you this week. God bless you. This is the Faith and Family Matters podcast. Take care and continue onward when trials come because God is indeed with you. God bless you.